hello everyone welcome back to a new session on dentistry and more so today we have a topic uh, plaque control which is a continuation of our epidemiology of periodontal disease this comes under the prevention of uh, periodontal disease so we have learned what is uh, agent host and environmental factors for the periodontal disease especially the uh, plaque uh, and its uh, hypothesis so in this video uh, I'll be explaining about the various measures of plaque control uh, what are the mechanical and uh, chemical plaque control strategies materials uh, compounds we are using so let's see what is a uh, plaque control so by definition uh, it is the regular removal of microbial plaque and the prevention of its accumulation on the teeth and adjacent gingival surface so as we all know microbial plaque is a major etiology of periodontal diseases uh, but the patient cooperation is a fundamental key for a long-term success so we have mechanical and chemical plaque control measures in mechanical the cause most common is toothbrushes and interdental cleaning aids whereas in chemical it is chlorhexidine essential oils and other few products are there so toothbrushes are started by Chinese in 1600 BC. So Hippocrates even mentioned about uh, removing the deposits from teeth. So the first bristle toothbrush was introduced by Chinese. So in uh, mechanical plaque control, we remove the biofilm via toothbrush. The most common use is a manual toothbrush. So well designed. Uh, to remove plaque from the facial, lingual, and occlusal surfaces. So the toothbrushes are uh, designed to remove plaque from the facial surfaces, lingual surfaces, and occlusal surfaces. So basically, every toothbrush has to follow these uh, specifications given by American Dental Association. Its head head should be one to one point two five inches long and two to four rows of bristles five by 16 to three by eight inches wide five to 12 tefts per row and 80 to 86 bristles per teft so depending upon the hardness we can classify as soft medium hard and extra hard soft is 0 0.007 to 0 0.009 inches 1010 to 0.012 inches is medium and 13214 is hard and 0.15 is extra hard see commonly we use medium toothbrushes for sensitive teeth we can suggest soft toothbrushes so we have very uh, common method that is modified bass technique we suggest for patients to follow that is apical 45 degree to the long axis it helps circular cleaning and periodontal health stillman it is different directed apically and and it is similar to bass method but it placed partly on cervical portion of teeth and partly on adjacent gingiva. It is most commonly used in gingival recession. Charter's method is exactly uh, opposite of these two because its angulation is towards the crown, not towards the apex. So it is for orthodontics and uh, surgical sites to not to disturb the gingiva. So roll stroke is uh, nothing but uh, directed apically and rolled occlusally. Fonts technique we apply for uh, kids. That is a circular motion. So power toothbrushes are came into market in 1939. So we can suggest it suggest for people with uh, lack of fine motor skills and small children or handicapped, even hospitalized patients patients with orthodontic appliances and some may prefer it so we have various types of motion and power to precious like uh, reciprocal that is back and forth circular or elliptical or a combination so dentifrices are the next part of uh, plaque control in uh, mechanical plaque control so these are the aids for cleaning and polishing teeth they um, can be used in powders paste and gels so it has composition the first one is abrasive calcium carbonate or calcium phosphate humectants like glycerin sorbitol mannitol uh, it uh, creates a uh, form thickening agent is sodium uh, 
carboxymethyl cellulose so this humectant it uh, retains the humidity uh, and forming agent is sodium lauryl sulfate so humectant is actually property which retains uh, uh, hum humidity that is uh, wettability so when uh, we use uh, to paste it is uh, very easy to apply uh, compared to the um, tooth powder so that is humectant we can use a glycerin sorbitol or mannitol so forming agent sodium laurel sulfate preservative benzoic acid there will be flavoring agent uh, like peppermint saccharin desensitizing agent like potassium nitrate or sodium fluoride anti caries agent sodium monofluorophosphate and even anti calculus agent which is pyrophosphates or zinc compounds so we have various interdental aids this is basically a simple chapter because toothbrush uh, so we know toothbrush we see it a uh, daily to uh, daily in our daily life so we can uh, easily correlate all the products so toothbrushes actually doesn't remove the interdental plaque so dental flows and other interdental aids such as wooden or plastic tips or interdental brushes can be used to remove the interdental food debris so how we can use an interdental aid based upon the uh, type of interdental papillae that is type 1 type 2 type 3 type 1 is very uh, close uh, embrasure so it has always advised to use a dental flows type 2 there is a papillary recession so miniature interdental pressure or wooden tips can be used type 3 is complete loss of papilla so you need after brushes can be used so dental flows is nothing but the uh, nylon filament or plastic which may be waxed unwaxed or thick thin so unwaxed is always preferred so it is two method can be applied by spool method and loop method spool method is 12 to 18 inches taken and four inches around the middle finger as you see the picture one to two inches held tightly between the index finger uh, index finger then as the picture seen you can apply it this is a spool method loop method is different loops of flues is made about 12 to 18 inches with three knots passed between the contact area so that is loop method so interdental brushes are in various size and shape can be conical or tapered so designed to be inserted into plastic reusable handle that is there will be handle always we can uh, reuse it so these bristles always inserted at 90 degree as you see the pictures no in and out motions and wooden tips can use it it will be triangular in cross section base of the triangle oriented towards the gingiva okay so the space should towards the gingiva and the small sharp edge should be towards the coronal side so unit after brushes can be used for type 2 and type 3 embrasures gingival massages uh, will help for improved circulation keratinization and epithelial thickening it should be pointed 45 degree coronally the rubber tip should be pointed like that so water irrigation devices we hardly seen this valuable supplement for mechanical plaque control because it removes unattached plaque and debris so it looks like um, so this picture is shown here so it has a built-in pump and a reservoir so next we move on to chemical plaque control most common is chlorex then essential oil antibiotics quaternium quaternary ammonium compounds and enzymes chlorexidine is a cationic bismignite it has a superior anti-plaque activity it's known as substantivity because it retains to the oral structures for a period of time we use at low concentration it is bacteriostatic and bactericidal in high concentration so single rinse uh, will be having an antibacterial uh, activity for at least five hours so it prevents actually pellicle formation by blocking the acidic groups on glycoprotein uh, and reducing the glycoprotein adsorption on tooth surfaces and prevent adsorption of bacterial cell wall 
on tooth surface by binding it to the bacteria so it bind to the bacteria and it prevents adsorption of the cell wall to get attached on the tooth surface and it prevents binding of mature plaque by precipitating agglutination factors in saliva and displacing calcium from plaque matrix so essential oil is uh, very has very long history of use and safety demonstrated plaque reduction in very long term clinical trial examples are listerine thymol eucalyptol menthol antibiotics are vancomycin erythromycin like that but bacterial resistance and hypersensitivity are some problems enzymes uh, would be able to break down already found matrix of plaque and calculus and certain proteolytic enzymes are bactericidal to microorganisms like mucinase so quaternary ammonium compounds are effective against developing plaque positive organism like benzethonium chloride so these molecules react with negatively charged membrane phosphatase to disrupt cell wall of microorganisms and some other agents are like triclosan it is a phenol derivative broad spectrum activity against both gram positive and negative and which acts on microbe, microbial cytoplasmic membrane and causes leakage of cellular constituents and it also delays plaque maturation and inhibits formation of prostaglandins and leukotrienes telmopilone also uh, it is a ethanol derivative it enters interferes with plaque matrix formation and reduce bacterial adherence it used as a pre brushing mouth rinse okay so that's all about uh, plaque control uh, we have two types of plaque control one is mechanical and another another is chemical plaque control so it comes under prevention of uh, prevention of periodontal disease so we have learned prevention of periodontal disease under uh, primary secondary and tertiary so this plaque control uh, comes in uh, primary prevention so we are using it for uh, primary prevention of periodontal disease uh, and various levels that is individual professional and community level so at even individual and professional level it can be uh, applied okay so thank you we'll come up with a new video on dentistry and more